Uh, I messed up my chart, so I'll just write over here. Uh, g of x equals x cubed minus 6x. Caesar! Tell me what to do. Yesterday, as I was helping some students, <coughs> uh, it's just as simple as this. They were getting lost or not getting the same answers because they were not using parentheses. So what should you use, class? Parentheses. Caesar, keep going. All right, so um, it says it's a negative x cubed. Correct. Minus, I mean, plus 6x. So remember, negative x is written three times. <coughs> Negative times negative times negative is a negative. All right, Caesar. <laughs> what do you do next, though? Oh, you put um, g of x equals um, negative. No, g of negative x equals negative x cubed plus x. Uh, you said something before you guys were talking. What do you put out here? Oh, yeah, you put the negative outside. Negative or negative one, right? Okay, what goes in the inside? Uh, negative x cubed. Huh? I mean, I, x cubed. Correct. Minus x Correct. Caesar, I see x cubed minus 6x. What can I write there? Um, negative x. Every time you see x cubed minus 6x, you can write g of x. Every time you see g of x, you can write x cubed minus 6x. So we're doing a substitution. Caesar, that's odd. It's the opposite of the original. What's your answer? Odd. Raise your hand if you got odd. Do a quick graph. <coughs> I know it, the degree is odd, so I know it's going to be one starts up, one starts down, right? Just like a linear x to the first power. x cubed minus 6x. Zoom 6. Something like that. And odds are symmetrical about the? Oh, for origin. Raise your hand if you got that. <coughs>